Hello, my name is Jamie Lithgow. I, I am the Education Officer for Nil by Mouth uh, and I'm here today at the Old Guru Can Ashton Parish Church uh, to celebrate the fact that we've got St Columbus High School and Clydeview Academy working together on our new campaign that's called Sing Something Else. We wanted to approach this in a way that was more human and relatable rather than we didn't want to come from a place of graphic violence on posters. So we're encouraging people, um, whether it be at football matches or out with football, to sing something else and to kind of look at sectarianism in a different light. Sometimes the songs that are sung at certain football games, they might not be the most flattering, potentially offensive, so just sing something else. Uh, and today we've got high school students, the S2s, uh, they're going to be changing the lyrics to some popular songs uh, to promote a a message of friendship, anti-sectarianism. I think sectarianism is a massive issue. I think a lot of it has come from football and a lot of people kind of think that that's where it stops, but we do find it's carried on into different situations like school and these are the kind of consequences we've explored throughout our videos. So the kind of violence aspect, the legal aspect and the strain that it can have on relationships within family and friends. So this is something we wanted to focus on throughout the campaign. My name's Elaine Tay, I'm an RMPS teacher at Clydeview Academy. I'm Stephen Neeson, I'm the um, principal teacher of Bari at St Columbus High School in Europe. Today for me and, and for Elaine is, is the both schools coming together um, to, to challenge sectarianism in Scotland. Well I've worked with Nilby Mouse in the past um, in a previous school I worked in and I wanted to have them back in, in school but when I looked on their website I realised that really what they're trying to push just now is for two schools working together. So I spoke to Stephen and he agreed that it would be a great idea if we did this event together. Um, What's been happening is there's been lessons and workshops in the schools with pupils coming together but also in their own classes learning about sectarianism and really how it's a blight on Scottish society and how we want to challenge it and not have our young people um, given in to those uh, comments or those ways of thinking just because they haven't thought it through. The second reason that we're here is because the two schools uh, are the first two high schools in the country to receive Nil by Mouth's Champions for Change Award which celebrates schools working together in a partnership to launch events and activities. The legacy would be that um, young people will take from today um, something really positive. They have made new friends, they have an understanding now that there, there shouldn't be a rivalry between our schools and I think that's very, very important. Because at the end of the day it's all, um, you know, still human beings and the world is a different curriculum. In the junior years we do the same certificate classes um, and so to really work together uh, a bit more closely so that pupils can see us modelling um, that anti-sectarian message. Yeah, but they're taking the time to actually work together and it's a testament to the teachers, the staff and the pupils themselves uh, just to make this partnership work uh, and we hope it's an encouragement and an incentive for other schools to do the same uh, going forward. Thank you.